Hello guys and welcome back to our Las Palmas Calle mode. This is I think episode 8. And yeah, of course, as you probably saw already yesterday, I finished my Bremen Calle mode, the second last series. And so now there is just the Las Palmas Calle mode left of our Calle mode. Basically, it's the last Calle mode of FIFA 16. And um, yeah, so what is going to happen in the next few days? Today and tomorrow I will upload two so today an episode and tomorrow a Last Palmas episode, episode 8 and tomorrow episode 9. So we will finish season 3. Then on the Sunday, yes it's Sunday, on Sunday I will I think upload the best goals of my Liverpool career mode. Quite sure about that. And then we have Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. And on Thursday the FIFA 17 demos out I think. So I think that on Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday I will upload Las Palmas um, yeah, Season 4 basically, so episode 10, 11 and 12. On Thursday, I don't know if I will straight away upload um, some FIFA 17 demo gameplay or if I will first... What I think, I'm not 100% sure yet, what, what I think is that I will upload base goods of either the Bremen or FC Wimbledon and then on Friday I will start with the gameplay. But yeah, we are in the Las Palmas career mode. Today we will go for October, November, December and January and as you can see we did really not start good in the, the league. Don't know why it's the same like in the first season, we, were, we are so amazing in the B season tournament, the trans window is so amazing, the signings we did if you can't remember for example it's an up we have the main signing, uh, signing of course. Our new goalkeeper already 75 rated and so many big talents, Knapri as well. And then we start off with 5 losses in the first 5 games. Don't know what to say about that. But yeah, today we have to get points somehow. I hope we can um, do better. I can just hope. We will play in this month against Atletico Madrid, Valencia, Zaragoza and Valle uh, Vallecano. So with Atletico Madrid and Valencia, two very good teams. With Sociedad, also a good team against Vallecano team. I would say is quality-wise worse than us. And a team who just don't know what that means, TBD. And this ball, I don't know if this now is a team. I think that means we don't know who we're playing against yet. I, I'm a bit confused. But that's not that important. Important is we have three, uh, four league games and I would like to get as many points as possible. I mean, I don't know how many are possible, but yeah, we can just try. So let me check one more time. I forgot already. Yeah, we have enough days to rest so we can use our first choice quad against Atletico Madrid, it is an away game, I don't expect anything, I expect a loss. They lost against Real Madrid, the, yeah, the Madrid derby, I will uh, quick sim in 3, 2, 1, BOOM! Yeah, so we, we were actually going, uh, we were actually, oh, we took the lead with Bigas, but Griezmann, Torres and Koke. In the end it's a loss, 6 games. And six loss. I could get fired, guys. I mean, I, it could happen that I get fired and then I don't know what to do yet. Greci is asking for higher wages. Knabri. Uh, Greci, not Knabri. Kne uh, Greci is at 50k. He's asking for 80. I mean, he improved a few, uh, by a few ratings, but from 50 to 80, it's... Wow. That's a bit much, in my opinion, but uh, okay, I will, I will do it. I don't want anybody to be unhappy. We will now go into the game against Valencia, I mean, normally I would accept a loss against Valencia, they are way stronger, but we need points, we still have zero points, and if we lose this we have zero points after seven games, and seven games is not that ma uh, is kind quite a much, uh, quite a lot, sorry. <sighs> I don't know, I really don't know why we are losing, so they got an early red card, maybe that's good for us, I will quick sim, we scored the goal as well, three, two, one, please! Thank God, they got the equalizer, but Zanapia scores the winning goal. He got our first win, it's against Valencia. So now game number 8, it is against Real Sociedad, an away game. They got a draw against Real Madrid, not bad. Uh, Mesa has to play because, um, what's his name again, Thomas got too many yellow cards, I guess. Because he did not get a red card, so it has to be too many yellow cards. I mean, he got, that means he got already 5 yellow cards after 7 games, I guess. I think that means that. So we got of, uh, considered of course two goals within three minutes, so I will quick sim and yeah, it's an easy 2-0 loss. It should be quite an easy win, even if it's our second choice squad, come on, it's Lugo or something. Okay, what the fuck, we score in the first minute and they equalize in the second. The hell just happened. I will quick sim, 3-2-1, boom! 
Okay, Leva Scott and uh, Munir. The injury is on their side, so everything is perfect. Munir with two goals, Leva also with a goal. I think this could be the first goal for us. Not bad, but not great. I mean, his form yet. Yeah, I mean, I would not say it's bad, but I definitely expect it more. Of, but of course, they are new, so it, it's fine. I will give him some time, but I want to let. Uh, I want to see him scoring some goals. Yet I'm disappointed, but he is new. I will give him some time, as I just said. But our current form is bad. I will quick him. Quartain with a goal, nice. Ramirez, of course, with a red card. What the fuck? Hernandez makes one. Okay, let's not quick him, actually. <laughs> now so much happened. Okay, what the hell? So everything is perfect. Like, we score goal perfect. But of course, then, five minutes after that, we get a red card. Five minutes after that, we concede. Mesa with maybe the... Winning goal, thank god Mesa got subbed in and just one minute after that, just seconds after he got subbed in He scores the winning goal to win us this game We should be able to see some growth, yes Marquis is going up and uh, now uh, 76 rated the same as Binhachi who is now 72 rated I told you I want to improve Binhachi to the 72 rating so I will stop training him and I will start training Ramirez again and also that's it for October, we are now in November, we will start with um, Youth Scott monthly report. Chen, still amazing, I mean he is already 18, that overall is still good, even if he's 18, but his potential is at least 91, just think about this, his potential is at least 91. Sanabria just gone up again, 83 rate, I mean he's just got this one goal, we saw this in this episode, the winning goal, he has 90 finishing guys. His finishing has he is he has just 90 finishing. Don't know if Gamara was already 79 rated. If not, then he is now 79 rated already. And I think that's it. So guys, I will make an interesting decision, or I will just make this decision. First choice squad, Ödegard will um, get swapped out with Gamara. Why that? Because Ödegard is of course just 18. I think Gamara is 20. But in the end. Gamara is improving really fast and he is now higher rated. So because he is higher rated, until Ödegard is also going up to the 79 rating or is even getting up to like the 8 or whatever, Gamara, I'm not training any of them and Gamara is improving faster. So for now, Gamara will be in my first choice team and Ödegard has to get into my second choice team. So in November we have three league games and is this the second leg? No, different team, I don't know. I think this is the same team. I don't 100% understand. Yeah, it's the same team. Don't know if it's no. It has to be a second leg, basically. Don't really understand it. But we have Sevilla, Aiba, and Getafe. Getafe is definitely beatable. Aiba as well. As Sevilla is okay. So I would like to get 6 points in this month. That would really help us out. So in a way, game against Sevilla, Binhachi has to play because, as you guys saw, Ramirez got a red card in the last game. Don't expect anything, so I will just quick sim in 3, 2, 1, and boom! Oh, this is typical. This is so fucking typical. We are actually playing good, not considering goal, and of course, with the last attack in the whole game. They have to score. Ödegard in for Sanakia, very interesting substitution. Oh, really, we were so close. We have. After 10 games, we still have to see what was. We have 2 wins and 8 losses. I don't know how we are not last place, we are not even second last, I don't really get that. Binhachi is now also asking for higher wages, don't, I really hope he's not asking for too much. Of course we were able to improve him like by 12 or 13 ratings, so I think he will ask for a lot, or at least definitely a big improvement, but I hope he will just ask for like 5-6k, 20k already, yeah, 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 okay. I mean from nothing to 20k already. But yeah, um, let's give him squad rotation player, he should accept this, of, at least I hope so. McQueen is going up again, already 77 rated now and Asunciao Brass also gone up to the 73. I try, I'm trying to get this guy Asunciao Brass to the 75 rating and McQueen to like an 80 rating, Mudina to an 78 and Ramirez to like an 75, 76. Of course he accepted this contract offer and uh, now we have the first out of the two definitely winnable games. It's against Aiba, first choice squad. They are on a bad run. We have the better team, we are playing at home. Nobody's injured. This should be a win. Zanabi is going his second goal for us. I will quick sim in 3, 2, 1 and boom! And yes, yes, very nice. Boateng is going um, just in front of half time. 
they miss a penalty and Stojanovic makes it 3-0, a very decent win, easy 3-0, now we got our third win, we are out of the uh, bottom 3, so let's see if we can uh, continue this good run, I would say a decent run with another win, we concede straight away, I mean yes, Ben Yedda is a good striker, I would take it more, but normally I wanted 6 points in this month, so let's see if we can get a comeback or at least a point. I will simulate it like this because we are already in the second half. Sandsburg for Bigas, Udegaard for Boateng, so we are going a bit more attacking. We just need one good attack, Reci scores the goal, 10 minutes to go. Last few seconds, we don't concede late goal, it's 4 points. An away game though against Getafe. I mean, if we would have got the draw against the VS well, if we not would have not conceded with the last attack in the whole game, we would have one win and two draws out of the three games. That would have been perfect. But I'm still happy with that. I'm still really happy. Ramirez is going up again. 74 weighted now. So I don't know really what this game is. I guess it's a second leg. But I really don't know. We won 3-1. We are playing against them again though, I think it's the same round, so I guess it's the second leg. We concede an early goal, I don't still think we should go through second choice squad. Boom! It's a 2 out draw, Leva scoring two goals, he got the rebound, but Lopez also, so Lopez with two goals. No wait, it's Leva and Vieira. Yeah, this, the name is almost the same, so that's my mistake. But yeah, it was, so I guess now we are through. We got exactly 100k, okay. And now of course we are in December, the second last month of this episode. We have 5 games, we have some definitely winnable games with Granada, Deportivo and Real Betis and we have 2 very difficult games with Athletic Bilbao and Madrid. I want to see 9 points. I would accept 7, so 6 points would not be enough for me. I would accept 7, 8 would also be ok, 9 is my goal. So we will start with the game against Bilbao, they lost the game against Bayern, so I think they are in the Champions League. I will quick some Kamara scores, this is good, can we maybe get a draw, we will see in 3, 2, 1, boom! 3-0 win, we won 3-0 against Bilbao, this is surprising to be honest. Biga Sporteng also scored, they got an early red card, this is very exciting, 3-0 win against Bilbao. And yeah, straight away we are up to 14th place. Munir is going up 78 rated to so Granada way it's an away game but still we have the better squad they have La Soca decent player I have to see 3, 2, 1, boom ah, Thomas scores they got an equalizer I, I, it is the away game so ex I accept it I always accept if we just get like a draw in a, in a winnable but in an away game but against Deportivo this should be a home game it is winnable there I want a win so please Guys, get us a win. Thomas scores. 3, 2, 1. Please! Fuck's sake. Perez with the equalizer. Zamabria scoring his third goal with a penalty. They get an equalizer as well. I mean, it's not a loss, but not perfect. So after three games, we now have um, five points. So away against Real Madrid. We're just winning everything. Sorry for the background noise. I will just fix them. Yeah, it's a loss. So again, sorry for the background noise. Um, but yeah, we lost 3-0, which is fine. I also saw that we got a red card and an injury. Injury is just 3 days, that's fine. And the red card was Mesa. Risk of losing 4 players. A few players I definitely want to um, keep, so I will offer them new contracts. We have the money, so it should be fine. Yeah, my dog is, play is a bit crazy now. I don't know why. Nothing really happened, but he is a bit crazy. <laughs> just barking around for no reason. We should see some growth and yeah, Macri is going up again, I mean, we got him a few months ago with like a 71 rating I think it was, now he's already 78 rated. It is so easy, he is still just I think 19 and he is 78 rated, he, I told you he is better than Donnarumma in my opinion. So as you can see, Boateng accepted, I'm kinda surprised that Docker and Varas accepted because Varas isn't playing anything, so he's playing zero games and Dokkar told me at least like three times now that he wants to leave in the next one's window. But both accepted. But Wang Dalai, who is completely happy, he did not accept it. So this is a bit surprising for me. So there is the message. I expected it a lot earlier to be honest, but now Chao Chen wants out of the youth, um, youth squad and of course, I mean, he is already 18, normally people or players start in the age of 16 to tell me or the coach 
whatever that they want out. He waited for a very long time, that's really nice, but yeah, of course, he can come. Three years, I will give him a squad rotation player. He should accept this, I mean, he is just 65 rated. And I think the next one's winner, I can actually sell Dokkal, because if he is joining, then I don't need Dokkal anymore. You can see his stats big quick. He is nothing amazing. I mean, these stats are really shit. His vision is okay, but these stats... Broken Shot Tripping is also not that good, actually, but his crossing, his passing... Nothing too amazing. He is really not amazing. I mean, weak foot is not good, medium low work rates... He is, I would say he's actually kind of bad player, but he has a potential of 91 to 94. So I expect him to go very fast. The last game of this year on the last day of 2017. We are playing against Betis. We are playing at home as well. This should be a win. We score an early goal. I will quick him in 3, 2, 1. Boom! Yes, Sanapri is going a second injury on their side, so that's nice. At least Sanapri is scoring the penalties. This was always a problem with um, Arayu, he scored a lot of goals, but penalties, he missed all of them. So, new month, let's see, okay, we have, okay, never had this before, this is the first time I have this message. Um, they are not happy, um, wait, what? Oh, no, I, I thought they would say that um, they are not happy with the current position of the team. No, they think that we should sign a new defender because then they think they don't have enough replacements. This is stupid. We have two backup center backs and three backup full backs. So in my opinion, this is stupid, but okay. Um, but never had that before. This is interesting. Brass is going up straight away again. 74 weighted now and you can see Makui. Next training, he will already hit the 79 rating. And I told you, Gamara, I'm not training him. He's just crewing himself again. I think he joined us as a 74 rated. In the last season, he crewed plus... Or 73, I don't know. In the last season, he crewed plus... I think plus 3 or 4. And now, after half a season, he already improved plus 3 to an 80. Chen gone up straight away. Yeah, just one week in our team and already gone up to the 66 rating and is improving almost everything. I told you he will improve very fast. Lever I think just gone up to the 75 but I'm also not sure and that's it. So what do I want to do in this transfer window? I still want to sell Varas. He's 35, don't really need him. Dokkal can leave us if he wants to. I was thinking about should I keep Dokkal and loan out Chen or should I do it like this but I think actually I will sell Dokkal and will keep Chen for now. Many many games, uh, 7 games, 5 in the league. Um, Giron, definitely we could win that. Villarreal accept a loss. Atletico Madrid accept a loss. Celta Vigo, I want at least a draw, but yeah, okay, it's an away game. And against Getafe, I win. So in these five games, I want at least seven points if possible. And we have two games against Celta Vigo in the cup, and I don't really care about them. And therefore, I will use my second choice squad against Celta Vigo. I will just quick sim. Wow, second choice squad, and it's an easy final win. I mean, if it's like this, we should definitely win the game. Uh, in the league. Munir scored Leva and Dokkal Sandsbury with an injury, so let's hope he's not injured for a long time, because that would be really bad. Okay, it's just two days, perfect. We're playing against Giron, we are playing at home, first choice squad, everybody's fit. This should be an easy win, like a 1 or 2 nil. Knappi scores an early goal, I will quick sim, 3, 2, 1, boom! Yes, another easy final win with Greggi scoring 2 goals as well. So we are in good form now, we started off really bad for whatever reason, but now we are in some decent form. And I think Macri will straight away, yes, <laughs> go up again. Amazing, 79 weighted already. Just one more time, like 3 four more trainings and he's already 80 weighted. So now the second leg, should be easy after we won 3-0, this time even playing at home, second choice squad and... That is German, so yeah, uh, and it's of course the English version. Zanapi got up in and scores the goal. After getting exactly 100k, this time we get exactly 200k, which is nice. But what I don't understand, we had a month with already a lot of games, and now for whatever reason they decided to put even more games into that. So now we have actually in one month, three, six, nine games, nine fucking games in four weeks. This is completely, too, uh, this is just too much. But yeah, now we have games against Atletico Madrid as well, which is in the end fine, because we still can use our first choice squad in every game, and I will still just use my second choice squad. So at least my second choice squad 
will get I will get a few more games and maybe Atletico uh, Madrid is actually stupid enough to use the first choice squad in this cup game and therefore will not use the best squad in the game against us so it's still fine I guess but nine games in one month is a lot in my opinion but yeah Villarreal Gamara got a red card so normally no it's not Oedegaard it's actually Mesa replacing him this is stupid but still I don't expect anything, I will take it war. Let's see, 3 to 1, boom! Nice one, Grecia, they got the quick equalizer, but in the end, perfect, a war in the away game against Villarreal is really fine. So now, Atletico Madrid in the Copa de España, it's at home, first choice squad for us, yeah, they are uh, second choice squad of course. They are actually using the first choice squad, this is amazing, because that means either most of them players, if they play against us in the league, in just 3 days, they will be tired, or they will use their second choice squad, so this is really nice for us. <coughs> Sorry for that. Um, kind of an interesting game, I will quick some now. It's a 2-1 loss, which is really fine actually. Like, second choice squad and we just lost by one goal. We still have a chance to go actually through. So let's have a look what squad they will use. They are in good form. You're playing at home though, and no, they're actually using almost, they are completely the first choice squad. There are a few other players playing yes so there are many tired players in there or second choice players I don't know if we can do it though a draw would be amazing they scored an early goal with fucking Lewandowski I will quick them in 3 to 1 please ah oh, I mean ah oh, okay if it would be the other way around I would have been angry if he scored the equalizer and they score with the last attack but like this we, lo uh, we lost 2-1 again which is again really fine but before that we can see that Ramirez now is 75 rated. So we now got the transfer for Docker. Finally, his value is 3.2. They offer 2.4. So I will just ask for the middle, which is 2.8. And we got also an offer for Varas. Almost the same thing. They offer 700k un uh, under this value. So I will ask for 2.1 million. Um, Mer is playing. This is not what I want to see, but okay. They won against the last two games. 2 1 wins against us. Let's see if they can win 2 1 against us again. I will quick them in 3 2 1. Boom! No, this time it's 2 0. No. So, 3 games against Atletico Madrid. We lost all of them, but this is not really a surprise, is it? So, now we will have some money. First of all, this time it's perfectly 400 cases. 100 to 200 to 400. I like that. Second of all, we sold Dokal to 2.4 million euros and also we will sell Varas. So a lot of money in our tons of budget. Still don't want to make any deal. And there you have it, Varas left us so 1.8 million euros. So we wanted to sell two people and we were able to sell both of them. They had some bad run. They lost against us as well recently. So we should be able, first choice squad as well, we should be able, even if it's an away game. I think I would take a draw, but normally I want the win. Gnabry is going early goal, I will quick sim, 3-2-1, they got an equalizer, in the end, it's a draw, they, their guy Bouvier or whoever, it's an amazing striker, I don't know how to pronounce the name though, scored two goals, got injured, Zanapia with another goal, gets us a point, I will take that, Gnabry finally going up, now 76 rated, took him a long time, he's really not that going that fast, I think his potential on FIFA 16 is not that high though. And of course the last game as well. If we win this, I would be really happy with the results in this month. First choice squad at home, Gamara scoring goal. If we win this, I would be really happy. If we not win this, I would not be really happy. I would basically be probably... If we lose this, I would not be happy at all. And if we get a draw, I would say it's fine. But we are scoring 2 nils. If Sanapi would have scored that, it would have game, been game over. But they are down to 10 men. We are playing at home, playing really good. It's good to go. So we sh this is going to be a win. And it's going to be a 2 nil win. But of course, my last minute, we had to get an injury. So let's hope it's not for... Four weeks is fine, I guess. It is fine. We have replacements. It's fine. Kagawa joined Liverpool. Dybala joined Dortmund. Good answer. And Fred to Swansea. What a transfer from Swansea there. Um, I could actually sell him. You know what? I don't really care about it. I will sell him. I don't. We don't really need him. I will just accept this one. And therefore we will have uh, even more money even though we don't really need it. We will have even more money now. Yeah, be gone. 2.7 to our transfer budget. Anything else happening? Tieleman. Okay, now. Jan Sommer joined Inter. 
Die Le Mans joined Watford, what a transfer that is. But still, just 140 million euros, a really boring transfer window that just ended. So we will have another squad report and have a quick look at the table. And um, then we can finish it. I think Boateng just hit the 79. Yes, he did. He just hit the 79, so now he is definitely high with it. Then Udegaard as well, and he's scoring a lot. I mean, plus 4 and tripling in crossing, and plus 2 in many other stats, so he's scoring a lot, especially for a 30 year old player. Um, anything else that is new? Not yet. Neville just hit the 74 rating, so he's improving a lot, and he's proving everything. Like really everything, so that's very nice to see. Um, Binaji was already there. Chen gone up again now, so in the first you got uh, monthly, uh, no, in the first spot report he gone up plus one, and now he gone up plus one again, so he's moving very, very fast. That's very nice to see. And that's it. So let's have a quick look at the table. Looks way better than it is, um, than at the start of the episode. So in the first six games, zero points. And now in 16 games, 26 points. But yeah, for now guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Tomorrow we will finish Season 3, hopefully in a good way. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, please smash the like button. If you're new, then please subscribe. If you, of course, want to stay at this channel. And yeah, other than this, guys, have an amazing day. I will see you tomorrow. And bye.